Ah, uh, the casual Team Fortress 2 pub. What's not the love? It's got King of the Hill and Payload. It's got Red Team and Blue Team. It's got God himself and Jose Gonzalez 2005. It's got everything. It's perfect. Surely there is nothing that could ruin this sacred pla- Oh, f Oh my god, I can't stand these bots. You hate them, I hate them, everybody hates them. But while you and I were complaining about the bots, somebody else was out there fighting them. And that somebody is named Jose Gonzalez 2005. Wait, no, 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 I'm sorry, I read that wrong. I'm sorry, it, it was Uncle Dane. You know, the funny sentry guy? Yeah. Well, he built a bunch of TF2 servers, like a lot of them, and it's kind of the best thing that's happened to this game in the last five years. TF2's default matchmaking system is shoddy, and not that kind of shoddy, N no. I mean, it's inconsistent. Sometimes you'll be put into a nice, full, healthy match with all of your friends and family and Obama Gaming, but other times you'll be put into a match, look around and ask yourself, Hey! Where is everybody? Or worse yet, you'll be put into a game right as it ends, and then the server changes to a map you didn't even queue for. Or, worst of all, you'll just land yourself directly into robot hell. If this happens to you, you can sleep easy, young gamer, because you're just a couple clicks away from a better place. Uncle Topia. No bots, no bullet spread, no bullshit. It's just good old-fashioned Team Fortress 2. And if I can just get a little bit real with you guys for a second, being able to reliably find a functioning and full game of good old-fashioned TF2 at any time of the day is really important to me. I'm a generally happy guy, but on those days when I'm not so much, there's nothing that cheers me up quite like booting up my favorite game and hopping into an Uncle Topia server with a couple of friends. In my experience, everyone on the servers has always been welcoming, friendly, and fun. It's, it really is a great community. So thank you, Dane. And thank you John TTM, the man behind the scenes working on the servers. And thank you to everyone who supports Uncle Topi on Patreon. And thank you to everyone who plays on it and doesn't get mad at me when I taunt after every other kill. And for that matter, thank you to everyone who hosts or supports any other community server, not just Uncle Topia. And you know what, while I'm at it, this, this part's unscripted, but I just want to thank everyone from the TF2 YouTube community for reaching out to me for collaborations and everything like that. It's been a lot of fun meeting all you guys, and I think we're going to be able to bring a lot of positivity to Team Fortress 2 in the future. This game means a lot to me, so I'm really grateful there are people out here keeping it playable and keeping it alive. For real, thank you all. There are, however, two major problems with Uncle Topia. Firstly, Uncle Topia is a lonely king. It has no true competitors. Most community servers host custom content, which pushes the game forward in amazing new ways, and I love them for that, but it's not good old fashioned TF2. If Valve servers keep deteriorating, then Uncle Topia is going to be one of the last places to consistently play traditional TF2. Dane says it best himself. If Valve suddenly decided to shut down server support for TF2 entirely, uh, I think it would just end up putting an overwhelming amount of pressure on community servers, so I really hope it doesn't happen because Uncle Topia is bursting at the seams as it is. As a community, we need to prepare for the future and accept the fact that Valve is not going to solve all of our problems. Right now, all of our eggs are kind of in one basket here. If Uncle Topia dies, our game dies with it. We cannot let that even be a possibility. Which brings me to my second major problem with Uncle Topia, which is that the servers fucking suck because Dane turned off random crits. What is this place? P I mean, what are you even doing, dude? All you do is build sentry guns and those things aren't even affected by crits. Random damage and bullet spread need to go, sure, but random crits? Huh? Have you ever played this video game before in your entire life, my guy? Everybody knows that random crits are A, funny, B, epic, and C, funny. In that order. If you're a gamer who's not afraid of itty bitty shiny rockets that insta give you from halfway across the map, then join Grouchland for free. Server info in the description.